Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomuz Biology. And in this video lecture series, we are going to talk about cell cycle, cell cycle regulation. If you want to understand cell cycle regulation properly, I want you to watch all these lectures. So this is the first lecture of this series about the cell cycle phases and different cell cycle checkpoints. Very important topic to understand the cell cycle progression is to understand the cell cycle phases first and then to understand the cell cycle checkpoints. So to give you a simple idea about how cell cycle progresses is to give you this, I, I believe all of you know this simple idea of cell cycle phases. You all know, it's no big deal, there's G1 phase, there is S phase, there is G2 phase, and then finally there is M phase. And we all know this, right? This G1 is G2, all these three phases are under the term interphase or I, right? We all know this. There's no big deal about it, there's nothing new about it. But the new thing that we need to understand is how exactly cell progress from G1 to S, from S to G2, and basically ultimately from G2 to M. And this movement of cell means basically there is no such physical phases in a cell. Cell divides on its own, but we, to understand the processes of cell, we divide them in different fragments based on the function that the cell does in that particular phase. Okay, so there are these four different phases. So here we will understand how exactly cell cycle phases are progression are done. And basically, when the cell migrates from one phase to the other to do specific function, there are checkpoints. What is checkpoint? Checkpoint is a time frame or time point between two different phases generally or two different important uh, function of the cell cycle to protect the damage to the cell or the damage to the DNA which is most important part of the cell. Okay, So cell always check for the cellular benefit or the DNA's health before moving to the next step of cell division. That's very very important. So that's why the checkpoints are present checkpoints are present okay so here we'll understand how exactly these checkpoints regulate the movement or progression of cell from one phase of the cycle to the next phase of the cycle and in the cell cycle uh, in biological system the process of regulation or checkpoint works in one simple manner that the proteins required for the cell cycle progression are already present in the cell everything required are already present but they are turned off they are basically inhibited Okay, but when you show something as an identity proof, it will lift that band and you can move on to the next phase. Okay, so simple thing is that G1, S, G2 or M phase, in four phases, the cell moves. G1 to S, S to G2, G2 to M. In this, the cell is checkpoints in different checkpoints. And by showing an ID, the cell is allowed to move on to the next phase. That is how the whole checkpoint works. So before understanding how checkpoints work and how checkpoint performs, different checkpoints have different roles. What are the types of cell cycle checkpoints? What are the example of this checkpoint? We'll see two separate examples of checkpoint regulation in details. But before that, we need to understand the phases of cell cycle clearly. You need to have a clear understanding of the phases. So let's move on to this next slide and I'll be telling you the different phases of the cell cycle. So here I'll write uh, the name of the different phases. We all know this. Start with G1 phase, okay? Then S phase, G2 phase, M phase. I keep a uh, one of this uh, rows blank because of some reason. There is a reason behind it. You'll see that. So these are the four important phases, and we know that the cell actually takes more time to complete the interphase, that is G1, S, and G2, than the actual process of Mitosis, that is the segregation of sister chromatids from each other and cytokinesis. So M phase mein kya hota hai? Basically chromosome ka segregation hota hai aur cytokinesis hoke cell alag ho jata hai. But uske, usse pahle baaki ke teen jo stage hai, G1, S, G2, sabse zyada time lagta hai teen stage mein. So now what we'll do in the function part, we'll understand the function of all these phases. So G1 and G2, uh, you can either call it as a growth phase or gap phase, but I prefer to remember this as a growth phase because it sounds the growth of the cell. Basically, G1 phase is a, is a phase where what happens basically, the production of proteins, proteins are produced, mRNAs are uh, first produced, then proteins are produced. Which kind of proteins? The proteins necessary for the DNA replication. Okay. So example of this kind of protein, uh, let's say DNA, uh, the, the helicase, 
okay the prime is all these important proteins needed for the replication process are produced at this particular phases proteins for dna replication this is what is important about this g1 phase the second one is s phase s means synthesis phase synthesis phase is the time where the dna synthesis take place dna replication that's it dna replication take place in the s phase then comes the g2 phase again another situation so g2 phase what happened basically again the growth of the cell in g1 phase not only the protein synthesis is done but also cell grows in size but in g2 phase also the similar idea synthesis of specific proteins which will be required for the segregation of the chromatids for anaphase plate formation metaphase plate formation anaphase segregation of the chromatids for all these things several proteins are needed so all this protein synthesis uh, first the transcription then translation and protein synthesis necessary in the g2 phase then lastly the m phase mitosis phase in this phase what happens cell division means segregation of chromatids so chromatid segregation and at the end division means cytokinesis okay division of the cell into two cytokinesis all these things are done here after this m phase so these are the four different phases and in all these different phase they have different functions to play all right so these are the four important phases i believe all of you know this now i'll move to the uh, checkpoint criteria and i'll take a different color for this i'll take uh, black color for this for stating you the function of different checkpoints and what are their rules so what are the function of the checkpoints so i'll write down the checkpoints why i leave gaps between these phases b because there are checkpoints that are present between the phases so for example the first checkpoint is here g1 checkpoint simply known as g1 checkpoint okay and this checkpoint is very crucial because in this checkpoint it checks for whether the cell is of appropriate size and ready for the cell division or not if the cell is not ready for cell division then this checkpoint will prevent the cell to move from g1 phase to the s phase so that is very important g1 checkpoint okay so what it checks for it checks for the dna uh, i mean it checks for the dna damage obviously dna damage because dna damage is the most alarming condition for the cell in terms of cell division so if there is any sort of dna damage it need to be fixed right away along with that it checks for the the cell size whether the cell reach uh, reached out to the average size or not that is another important uh, job of this checkpoint all right so that is the job of the g1 checkpoint to check whether the cell is of adequate size it has the proper volume for the cell division to progress or not and whether there is any dna damage or not the second one is known as the g2 checkpoint okay so what is the role of g2 checkpoint again g2 checkpoint is somewhere here right after g2 so i'll write here it is a g2 checkpoint what this g2 checkpoint does right here actually g2 checkpoint between s and g2 or right after the s phase or synthesis uh, phase what is the job of g2 checkpoint g2 checkpoint checks for again dna damage dna damage if there is any sort of dna damage the g2 checkpoint will prevent the cell to move from the s phase to the m phase and one more important thing that this g2 checkpoint does is also check for any inappropriate dna synthesis that means in dna replication process sometimes what happens addition of erroneous nucleotides if there is addition of erroneous nucleotide or mis pairing or anything like that happens uh, and if the dna replication is not properly done then that is checked by this g2 checkpoint and g2 checkpoint will prevent the cell to move from the s phase to the m phase because m phase is the phase where that dna will be separated segregated into two daughter cells so if that problem is there in the mother cell from one mother cell the same problem can be spread across the daughter cells and it can magnify to prevent that this checkpoint is very necessary so any sort of uh, what i can say the replication error the replication error any sort of replication error is checked here after that what else we have we have the end or the last checkpoint that is in the m phase this is where we have this last checkpoint and this checkpoint is known as 
the mitotic checkpoint this is right in the m phase right on the m phase mitotic checkpoint means in the m phase we have different phases we have pro phase we have meta phase we have ana phase and we have telo phase right we have four different phases among all these four different phases basically this is this is a checkpoint that m phase checkpoint or mitotic checkpoint is present between meta phase and ana phase between meta phase and ana phase because in the meta phase what happens chromosomes align themselves chromosomes align themselves in a meta phase plate and microtubules start to interact with the kinetochore from both the mtoc microtubule organizing center and then they will drag the sister chromatin in the opposite direction to the opposite poles of the cell so this dragging means segregation of the chromatids and then there will be cytokinesis so before the segregation there is this another checkpoint so this checkpoint checks for if the microtubule has formed properly or not if the microtubule is properly connected to the kinetochore or not this is what this mitotic checkpoint checks okay this is also known as spindle assembly checkpoint okay spindle assembly checkpoint the role of spindle assembly checkpoint is to check that the mtocs are properly connecting to the kinetochore or not so basically what happens if i uh, show you here that this is a cell and these are all the sister chromatids and this is one mtoc this is another mtoc they are connecting to all this kinetochore so this is the metaphase plate so if there is any error let's say this is these are the two cells and again the same condition but there is a defect that from this right hand side of the pole the microtubule is not connected to the kinetochore in this kind of situations the cell will not progress from the metaphase to the anaphase due to the presence of mitotic checkpoint so these are the overall idea about the different checkpoints to yahi hota hai simple si baat hai summary karke deta hu yahan par g1 s g2 m phase hai g1 aur g2 phase mein different uh, growth ki baat hota hai protein growth thik thak se ho raha hai nahi cell ki growth thik hai nahi dekha jata hai s phase mein dna replication hota hai m phase mein chromatid segregate hota hai aur cytokinesis ho ke two daughter cell taiyar hota hai two daughter cell produce hota hai मगर यहाँ पे बात करें चेक पॉइंट्स की तो चेक पॉइंट्स जो है जी वन चेक पॉइंट है जो कि जी वन और एस फेस के बीच होता है जी टू चेक पॉइंट है जो कि एस और जी टू के बीच होता है ठीक है और फाइनली एक माइटोटिक चेक पॉइंट है जो कि मेटाफेस और एनोफेस के बीच होता है जॉब ऑफ जी वन चेक पॉइंट क्या करता है जी वन चेक पॉइंट वो देखता है कि डीएनए डैमेज है या नहीं या फिर सेल प्रॉपर साइज रीच कर चुका है या नहीं एक सेल डिविजन के लिए एक प्रॉपर साइज चाहिए होता है न्यूक्लियस टू साइटोसॉल रेशियो को मेंटेन करना होता है अगर वो मेंटेन ना हो तो सेल साइकिल नहीं होगा तो वो देखता है जी टू चेक पॉइंट क्या देखता है कि डीएनए डैमेज है या नहीं या फिर जो रेप्लीकेशन हुआ है डीएनए को ठीक ठाक से हुआ है या नहीं एंड फाइनली द एम फेज और एम फेज चेक पॉइंट माइक्रोटिक चेक पॉइंट और यू कैन से दिस एज द स्पिंडल असेंबली चेक पॉइंट ये चेक करता है कि माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल दोनों साइड से कैंटोकोल के साथ प्रॉपरली अटैच हुआ है नहीं दोनों साइड का टेंशन सही है नहीं सो दिस एक्चुअली चेक्स वेदर द टेंशन coming from both the mtocs are connected to the sister chromatids are proper from both the sides or not if one side has more tension the other side has less tension that means there is a error in terms of connecting the kinetochore with the microtubule so you can prevent it so that's the idea of cell cycle phases and checkpoints i believe you have a clear understanding of cell cycle phases and checkpoints now i am going to share one interesting point with you and basically are uh, two important situations of this checkpoints we will see how this checkpoint function remember till this point we are talking about the role of checkpoints we know how the checkpoint works what is the way checkpoint works is that if there is any error let's say the dna damage let's say the cell size is not proper let's say there is no tension attached to the kinetochore then the checkpoint will arrest the cell so we call it a cell cycle uh, a cell cycle arrest we call it a cell cycle arrest so whenever the cell cycle arrest will be done means the cell will not grow to the next phase from g1 to s from s to g to g2 to m that's how it's done so here i'll share uh, with you one simple example of this transition okay how exactly uh, g1s checkpoint works what is the proper way of g1s checkpoint works we'll also talk about how and what is the way that spindle assembly checkpoint works so two of the important checkpoints will be discussed with this video in the next half